Go ahead, honey. It's that your ain't no lady. That's my wife. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so this is just a simple CD player. Once you lay down with your oh. head at that end, or it doesn't have any way. It's gay art. Right? It is. Good memory. Okay. <laughs> no, I saw the name tag. <laughs> no, you really didn't. It wasn't. Yeah, you put your name tag upside down. You just read it. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a set of uh, high quality headphones, but you can buy these for under a hundred bucks on Amazon. You want to get flat response? I think I have that on those sheets of, of uh, what the uh, specs are for this thing. Uh, you want to get flat response, five to 30,000 hertz is the best. And uh, I talked to Gail earlier, she's having some eye problems, and so. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the ICD. That's what this is. I know you can't see it, but it's for the CD yeah, for the can, eye. Can you use it without the headphones? You mean like through a boombox? Yeah. Yeah. It's more effective with headphones, but you can use it without headphones. Okay. Um, there's no real set way to do it. It's just ways that I found, at least for myself, that are, are more powerful. And I found putting in the sound right, right in here through headphones would seem to be the most powerful way to do it. You can listen to these things even while you sleep, and you usually will go to sleep with it. Because what happens, this unified field is beyond space and time, and so you, when you start to listen to it, you become aligned with this unified field. And what happens, these will bring up the weakness. See, we are inherently strong, but what happens, we accumulate weakness in our system as we age. And it looks like we're getting weaker as we get older, and for practical purposes we are. But actually what's going on is we're just accumulating this weakness through sugar and toxicity so that the body isn't functioning properly. If you clear that stuff out, you just go back to being strong. <coughs> because it's the accumulated weakness. It's not really that you're, you're getting weaker. There's a, there's a nuance there. It's like, you are strong. And um, I say, basically, we're light beings. Um, I mean, so what can happen with a light? <laughs> you know, I mean, that's, that's that simple. So we're just going to put this on. And those of you who have the eyes can see, uh, she has problems with the right eye. And I think that, is that correct, right eye? Mm -hmm. So. The right eye is on the first track of this. Yeah, and you can see, <clears throat> I don't know if you can feel it, I can feel it. Um, it there's like a, a definite perception. See, the, the information is on the CD, so some people can even just pick up the CD and say, you know, this is what it's doing. They don't even need to put it in uh, a headset because the information is encoded on the CD. And if you can tune into that, you can do that. So as soon as I really put it on and started to pay attention to it, it started to react. Can you feel that at all? Can you feel that going on in the eye? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For those of you who can, can see it, and, you, know, the, you can see the, the stress and trauma is coming out of the right eye. Because okay. that, that's what the problem is. She's, it's, it's, she says she has a cataract, but see, anything, we know from quantum physics, really, that you can look at anything in terms of a particle or a wave, mm -hmm. the same thing. So if, if you look at it as a wave, energetically, anything can be healed, yeah, as opposed to a particle. I mean, a particle, they've got to get in there with a scalpel or, or something physical, which is, is much more limited than energetics. And these CDs are, the harmonics are conscious, right? I mean, this is, this is God. <laughs> this is like ultimate consciousness. And so these will literally go through the body and find out where you need that frequency or where you're holding the stress and actually start to clear it. Yeah. It's like, you don't, even, you don't even necessarily need to know what's going on. It's like the CDs are conscious in and of themselves. And how long is the program for each? Is it all different? Each CD is between 60 and 80 minutes. 
Joan, do you yeah. remember after our, our, our meeting in Starbucks in, in Tonawanda, and I called you, and I asked you, I told you that someone was having difficulty listening to the, and it was for a knee problem, and I asked you if I could apply it directly to the knee. Yeah. Because they had trouble oh, yeah, listening right. to it through yeah. the ear. That worked. They couldn't listen to yeah. it through the ear, but they received the treatment directly from the headphones wow, wrapped around that's, the knee. That's cool. Yeah. And then he also yeah. informed you if you were sensitive enough, all you did was tap, you could pick it up. Yeah, I have a lot of people that do it that way. Mm. You see the eye is watering. You know, it, it keeps, there's a definite difference between the two eyes. You can feel the, the uh, stress coming out of the right eye. Yeah, most of the time people will just go to sleep with this because what happens, it brings up that weakness. It brings up all the weakness that's in the body. And uh, I listen to these in bed because I, I used to like try to sit up and listen to it and all the weakness would come up and I'd find myself going <laughs> And so I just lay down to begin with. And usually by the time I finish saying, you know, this is for such and such a body part, I'm, I'm zonked out and sound asleep. And then I wake up when the CD gets over and I'm kind of waking up going, What's this on my head? And where am I? You know, because you get propelled to this unified field, basically, and you start having the experience of this unified field, and then when it goes off, you pop back up into physical reality. What is that little portable CD player you're using? Is that just adequate? Because if you're going to go in bed, you sometimes are too far away from your, you know. Yeah, this, this is what I use. This is what I, this, this is the system that I use for myself all the time. Portal. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. a clock radio that I, it has a CD player on it, but what I did was I loaded all Daryl's work that was my issues onto my iPod, mm -hmm. and I go to sleep and I've got them in all one playlist. Mm -hmm. I listen all night, all through morning. And up until recently, I was spending an extraordinary mm -hmm. amount of money on chiropractics just to be able to stand up. Mm -hmm. I drove back from Michigan, and before my kids could get out to help me unload, I had everything in the house, and I was standing straight up. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. See, and with this, as, as, as a body worker, it's like I could see 10, 12 people an hour <coughs> doing this, because this is the work. You know I mean? It's like you... You assess the person, and then you know you can even have uh, an assistant. You say, okay, you know, put this CD on for them, and you go to the next person, and you can you know, see multiple people that way, rather than just be limited to one person per hour. You know, it's it's mm -hmm. much more efficient for your time. Why bother even renting a space when you can give them a CD and say, off you go. Yeah, that's what next. I do. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. How much should they listen to it? Or what is that? Be heal, heal. How many times should they listen to something? Depends on the condition. Uh, the more severe the condition, the more often you got to listen to it. Uh, you know, everybody here is, looks relatively healthy, so, you know, a few times listening to it. But, I mean, I keep going back to like that five channels. It's, see, because you're going to deteriorate on this plane. Yes. It's, that's what that's inherent in this plane, especially if you're eating food, you, mm -hmm. you're going to just you know, poison yourself, basically. Mm -hmm. It's like we don't we don't get energy from food. We food steals energy. <coughs> you probably notice that after you eat, you get tired. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's because it steals prana. Okay. It's like we've been taught that we need to eat, but uh, if one person can be a breatharian, that means we're all breatharian. And there's been breatharians on the planet in all of existence. So that means we're all breatharians, it's just some people eat. You can eat and still be a breatharian. We get our energy from prana and the sun. We do eat, but you don't get energy from food. Because there's no energy in the food. The food is all dead. If it's not dead by the time it gets to your, it gets to your kitchen, you cook the piss out of it until it is dead. <laughs> So it's dead, you know, I mean, what don't you understand about dead? It's like, you say, well, if you think there's life in dead, you know, the next time you go buy a dead 
dog stop and play with it. It only knows how to play dead because <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> Same thing with the food. Well, some people will say that there's um, light or chi energy in food, like in raw foods. Do you believe yeah. that's true? Or is that uh, yeah, if you got a garden out back and you pull the plant and you eat it. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, but, you know, if it's grown in California, okay. it's probably been picked at least two or three weeks before mm -hmm. it gets to your plate. Got it. You know, it, it takes at least a week to bring it cross country yeah. by truck. Sure, I, I get that. And so the, the life force has been clearing out. That's probably a better way to go than cook foods. Yes. Okay, but nonetheless, it's still third-dimensional food. And what I, I say is, you, you are what you eat. So what happens, I say that we're light beings. So if you start eating light, sun, you start understanding yourself as a light being. Because you are what you eat. Okay? If you're eating dead carcasses, you're going to become dead. So is there a practice or a particular way of being that is a breatharian? I've only heard of an Asian group called Bigu, who has actually has been successful at not eating at all. If you type it on the internet, there's zillions of people. Just say There's a guy in Cleveland, <coughs> uh, Cleveland, Ohio. There's a couple people in Brazil. From what I've understood, they're estimating at least a thousand people are breatharians. Yeah. And I think that it's, it's increasing all the time as people start to understand that it's possible. I mean, when, you know, when we were kids, I mean, you didn't think it was even possible. You know, but then you got people like me running around saying, oh, it is possible. Isn't that increase in the knowledge of the in coming along with the increase in photonic energy? That's probably a good case of it, too, yes. So do you as the vibration increases, we, it becomes easier to become a uh, breatharian because then you can absorb the energy. But, but Christ was a breatharian. Do you drink water if you're a breatharian? Um, I, I do drink a little bit. Um, I'm even moving away from that now. I see. When you do this and sun gaze, your body becomes neutral. And when your body is neutral, it's like you don't need to put stuff into it. It's like in a total state of balance. Okay? And, and so if I put stuff in my body, I find that I become unbalanced. Okay? It's, um, <clears throat> different things will show up that I, I, just, I just don't like having happen. It tells me basically I'm becoming unbalanced for it. And I just, I just don't think about it. I'm never thirsty. I'm never hungry. Just food doesn't even enter my thought processes usually. But you do sleep. I sleep a little bit. But you see, we sleep to uh, heal up the damage we do from the food. Mm -hmm. It's like and that's movement. what happens. And movement. Every time your body moves, your muscles tear and things break down. I mean. Yeah. <coughs> I think it's more having to do with food, though, because you're constantly putting in this toxicity into your body. And so it repairs the, the uh, free radicals, is what it's called, mm -hmm. I think. And then uh, you sleep to repair that. But if you are putting food in your body, it's, you don't need to sleep. I mean, I lay down and rest, but yeah. if I do a couple hours of sleep, that's a lot. Yeah. Actually, I was wondering about the frequency she's listening to. Yes. A, uh, first question is, does she actually hear anything in B? Yes. Uh, so there's a noise for her. And the, um, yeah, it, so, it sounds... Can we have a sample? I'm just wondering, like, how do these frequencies compare to the alpha, beta, theta, and gamma, alpha, beta? Uh, they're different. They are. This is the energetic channel from the... This is the second track. This is going to be from the heart to the right hand. So if you just kind of meditate a little bit, you can start to feel energy moving through that <coughs> channel. See, that five-channel CD that's on that, that form is actually our energetic template that uh, determines we're bipedal, two arms, two legs, and a trunk. 
That's like the energetic uh, architecture of template at a really 